And if you can't, okay, you tell me you can't. That's right. I think everybody needs to put their stuff on the table. Just put something on put the table. Your, go after My first date with my husband, I took my wig off. Yeah, and I let him play with my real hair. That's how That's how we got married. You know, I can this one got quiet. So many places. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. Because if he couldn't deal with my real hair, then, you know, and he liked the fake, then we were going to have a problem. Oh, man. I can go so many places. Well, he fell in love. I'm going to leave him, you know. He fell in love. So. Teach his own. Amen. Mortimer. I appreciate it. Yep. Leave off. <laughs> I appreciate it. I took my leg off with my wife. Very, very <laughs> rare would you see the bench woman just get quiet <laughs> like that. He froze. He froze. <laughs> this is unruly. I don't too much see that from him. So called for. <laughs> you kind of hit a nerve there. You're like, whoa, wait a minute. What's she just say? <laughs> no, I had this whole color purple thing in my head. Yeah. I mean, uh, remember the uh, in living color? Yeah. I had this whole in living color thing she in my head. Yeah, she started popping them fingers, off. fingers and everything. <laughs> Took off the wig. Took off the dentures and everything. Right. I, revealed, I revealed my representative as well as my character. And that's good. And, and you know, that's good. And I, I advise women to do something not the same. Everybody's not the same. But just try to put something out there as quick as possible. So you can kind of see where both of y'all are coming from. I would advise... This is my advice. If you're dating, if, if you decide to use, there's somebody you like and they like you and this, that, and the other, my advice is to take everything out. I mean, just yeah. put it all on the table. Yeah. Might Start as well. out by putting it on the table. Might as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Long haul it in the beginning. Exactly. Yeah. Put it Long on the table the now beginning. so then we can deal with it. You know yeah. what? I'm, 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 I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not necessarily black. I was white at one time. Yeah. Put that on the table. Please. So I know your family. <laughs> <laughs> we're not in shock yeah I think what happened I think you're right that's good I like it you put it on the table first alright can you stay for one more segment oh my god I have to run see this, right, this yeah, is I'm way past her time he knows it's past my bedtime I think she got to go this is and we're in the 9 o'clock oh, hour oh yeah alright love y'all yeah I think it's past her time it, it has expired Vince Warmer alright shot clock is you're listening to 411 Sports Talk Radio on FaceTimeRadio.com. Our website is 411SportsNews.com. Our phone number to the show is 844-432-2384. Coming up in this 9 o'clock hour, we have a lot to get into more in the NFL, including Adrian Peterson, including the Dallas Mavericks, who, by the way, uh, is playing the San Antonio Spurs tonight, and it's 7:48 left in the fourth quarter. Mavericks up 87 to 71. Monte Ellis with 28 points, two rebounds, five assists, and two steals. Kawhi Leonard for the Spurs, 15 points, seven rebounds, two assists, four steals, and one block. The Mavericks are 44 and 27, and the Spurs are 44 and 25. For the next two nights, tonight and uh, Thursday night, we uh, played this first back to back. Huge, huge uh, moment for the uh, Dallas Mavericks. We got to go and pay some bills. We'll be right back. Atomic dog. You don't remember about that? Yes, sir. <laughs> Atomic 
Welcome back to 411 Sports Talk Radio on, on FaceTimeRadio.com. Our website is 411SportsNews.com. We're getting back into the 9 o'clock hour. We're going to probably do... Way past the 9 o'clock hour. <laughs> we're going to probably do some scatter shooting the rest of the hours, what yeah. we're going to have to do. Let's start with uh, staying in the NFL. Talk about Darren Sharper, the former... Um, Green Bay Packer. And New Orleans Saint and... Minnesota Vikings? Minnesota Vikings, New, New Orleans Saints. I think he played with the Oakland Raiders, too. Right. He pleaded guilty uh, last Tuesday in Las Vegas to a reduced felony attempted sexual, sexual assault charge in the third part of a four-state plea deal that prosecutors say will put him in federal prison for about at least nah. nine years. He played with the Packers, the Vikings, and the Saints. I, wanna, I say the Packers first. I'm going to tell you why I say the Packers first. Remember Mark Trump, Mark Trump, mm-hmm. he saw him in that water. Because mm-hmm. he went down for the same sexual assault crime. Mm-hmm. It's some in that water. Don't eat the cheese. It's molded. <laughs> wow. A plea agreement calls for Darren Schaffer to serve 38 months, in, uh, <laughs> 38 months to eight years in prison for the Nevada conviction. But at the same time, as sentences from California, Arizona, and Louisiana. Right. On Monday, on Monday, the 39-year-old Sharper pleaded guilty to sexual assault in Arizona, again using an Internet hookup and no contest in L.A. to raping two women he drugged after meeting them in a West Hollywood bar. Ain't that that uh, Internet dating, that online dating? Yeah, that's, there it is. There it is. There it is. We should have had this before she got out. But you do this in four states? Some Who does that? Does that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you didn't. My thing is this right here. You making all this money? Why do you have to go that route? Mm-hmm. Why do you, are, unless you broke. I just the, it's. I would never thought this dude would do something like this, but wow. I mean, f- raping women by drugging them in not one, not two, not three, but four, four states, states right. bench former. Right. Four. Right. That makes no sense at all. Well, and I'm surprised he got nine years. But, but you know what they say, though? That's a, that's a disease. For him, that's a disease. It had to be. That's a disease. Because he kept doing it yeah. and kept doing it yeah. and kept doing it. That's a disease. And, and and I don't know what you do about a disease. He was accused of club hopping with the women in uh, January 2014 before taking them to his room at a Las Vegas Strip hotel, drugging them and raping them while they were unconscious. Uh, is he hanging out with Bill Cosby? <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> I mean, hey, <laughs> he wake up with a robe on with a little Cosby cigar in his mouth. As a matter of fact, speak to, well, <laughs> Scott Fujita, his former teammate, um, says that the situ- the whole situation is disgusting. He was a great teammate, a great a great player, but... All that aside, it's disgusting and being unrep- uh, repulsive. I'm a dad of three daughters. If he ends up only serving nine years, it's an absolute shame. It's way too short. So that's how that's, that's how I feel because he should have right. got more than that. Right. Now, my, my question is for her. Where is Dale, Dale Hanson on this case? That's true. Where is the scene? We want to be outraged by Greg Hardy, but this right here is crap. This is worse. This is bull. You come to my house, you getting shot. You not you you gonna you gonna get to the mailbox and get shot. Who was that? Darren Sharper just shoot him. I mean, cause I mean, and now this he's got he's he's convicted. He got to go to he got to serve some time. This is where your outrage comes in. Right. This, your outrage don't come about something you speculate or you may have heard. This right here was real. You know. So if I you know the the teammate is right, I don't even call you a great player after that. When does your status of great player go away? Right. When you do crap like this right here, all that goes away. You just become a you you become a foul human being. You know, you become just a foul because I got a daughter. I got two daughters. You become a foul human being. Real foul. You know, and you did that to mine. It's gonna be on. On the I'm, I'm surprised. That, I'm surprised that the daddy and the daughters ain't in prison serving time too. Because that's what I'd be doing, waiting for him. I No, get mine first. Right, right, right. Serve right. me first. Go ahead and get mine out the way so when he come down, I can get him again. True. That's that's what I'd be doing. Wow. I, of all people, though, I mean, 
nine years, w- w- what is your thought on that? Nine years is too long. Too long. It's, it's not enough. It's not enough. I would have I would have given him twenty years per state. Yeah. You know, twenty years per state. Wow. Unbelievable. Let's go ahead and move on to um Adrian Peterson who uh is re- reporting reportedly wants out of Minnesota, no surprise. Right. Um the Vikings all time leading Russia is ready to move on after spending nine years with the club, something his agent, Ben Dogra, announced Monday at the NFL's owners meeting in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Um if Peterson eventually gets his wish the Dallas Cowboys might be the benefactors who, by the way, lost to Marco Murray to the Eagles this offseason. But uh, there were reports that Dallas was not interested in Peterson, per se, because Peterson wants a certain price to be met and because Dallas has realized that this draft this April is running back It rich. is running back central, but here's the deal, though. Here's the deal. Adrian Peterson is only putting his price out there for Minnesota. That's why he keeps driving his price up. Adrian Peterson wants to be paid like a high price, like like the first or second quarterback in Minnesota. So he said, "There's no such thing. There's no sense for me and you talking because you can't pay me the way you pay. You're not gonna pay me quarterback money, but mm-hmm. I'm only asking you guys to pay me that. I guarantee you. Once he gets at it, they say, okay, we're gonna do a trade. I guarantee you." He'll say, okay, I- I'll drop my price. He's just doing this just to get the heck out of there. And that's a good way of getting out. Yeah. Is this is what I want, and then when they trade him or cut him, because if if the Vikings let him go, they're saving at least $13 million, $13 million. in so cap So you can do something else with it. Right. And if this is a rich running back draft, you draft before the Cowboys. You can go pick you up another running back. Right. Now, if they did that, I gotta change my I gotta change my draft picks. <laughs> <laughs> if if Peterson comes to the Cowboys, do the Cowboys go in and draft him and get another running back? Considering that he's thirty, uh, I would get one down the line. But you got you, but the but would, would you draft a running back from this draft though? I wouldn't. You know why? Because you still have you, you still have uh, uh, Darren McFadden? McFadden. Yes, mm-hmm. and I like McFadden. I like McFadden when he came out of Arkansas. McFadden just had the problem. He, he just with a bad offense. I mean, a, a bad team. Mm-hmm. That's that was his only problem. Is he was with just a terrible team. So if the Cowboys, if they don't draft him, you got a twenty-seven-year-old McFadden back behind you. And he's just twenty-seven, yeah. and I don't think it's washed up like a lot no, of people he's think. Not. He's not. I, I think a lot of people got caught up with the Oakland doldrums of of right. mediocrity. Right, the dead, he, he's with a dead team. <laughs> it's hard to run in the graveyard. He's just trying to run out the graveyard. That's it. I like McFadden. People don't, but I do. So yes, if they sir. and 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 Minnesota drafts twelve, uh, drafts number eleven. If they if they wind up getting rid of Adrian Peterson, they go into the draft. You got Todd Gurley back there. You got Melvin. Uh, you got Melvin. Who's that? You got Todd Gurley. You got Melvin Jenkins. Is it Melvin? Jenkins? Melvin Brown. Uh, Todd Ty, Ty Gurley. Uh, Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon. Yeah, Melvin right. Gordon. Yeah, you and I got. I got Cowboys picking up Melvin Gordon, but if they drafted, if they got Adrian Peterson, which we're not going to find this out until after the draft anyway. Right. They're not going to make any move before that. Right. I mean, but if I'm Minnesota, I would. Hmm. If I'm Minnesota, I say, if that's what you want, then okay, let's make some moves. Let's see if I can get something for Adrian Peterson. Okay. That's what I would do. I get. Would you give up a first round if you Dallas? For AP? Boy, that's hard. It's hard to say because you know Dallas needs needs some defense. They need to shore up their defense. Greg Hardy was a tremendous addition. If a huge addition. If he has, if he plays at least ten games this year, he's great. But here's the deal, though. He might not even get suspended. That's true. Because there's no, he has no, he has no court records. I mean, there's no record of him uh, being abusive. All that stuff is thrown out. So he might not even get suspended, and they're trying to they're trying to subpoena the the, the courts to get the records of, to, of why he he was found guilty, but the courts don't want to give him up. The right. courts do not want to give up the paperwork, so he might not even get suspended. 
Right. So you pick up Greg Hardy, which is a huge, which is going to.